Hi and welcome to the channel. I am Mal and in this video we're going to be talking about Broom Closet Altars. This one specifically for Lamas or Lunasa. So I am in my entranceway to my home and I have a bookcase that was covered in rubbish. I've now cleared that off. Wiped it over and I'm going to just clear the energy with Tibetan symbols. I tend not to use smoke a lot, so sage sticks I don't do, so I'm just going to go over it and raise the energy and clear any other energy, stagnant energy that we don't want. So as it's about the harvest, and Lunasa also has a make craft element to it as well so this is what this is going to turn into so first of all i have a sunflower from my garden that i harvested so that's going to just sit in the corner i've also got lavender in abundance so i've harvested some lavender which is going to sit in the other corner now obviously you're not going to be able to use spell candles but a tin candle or a jar candle whichever you have can go in the middle nobody will know or think that's strange that you have a jar candle or a tin candle on your space next i'm going to place some crystals well I'm not going to place them around like I would on my altar I've got the trinket dish that came in one of the boxes and on it I've got the citrine the gold stone a couple of red tiger eye a couple of sunstones a nice orange agate and a couple of pieces of amber and they're just going to sit there and you wouldn't think anything other than that's just a dish of crystals now for the makes in the last video i think it was or the one before that i made this lavender wand Obviously, even though these are used to go into drawers and wardrobes, it does look witchy. So I'm going to place that there because it doesn't matter in my home. But I made a lavender bottle, which doesn't look witchy at all. So I'm going to place that on there for my make. So these two... The lavender wand and the lavender bottle are made exactly the same it's just that more ribbon is used for that one also i have the little stems that i had to cut off to make the lavender wand so i've just put a ribbon around those and i'm going to leave those there as well because lavender smells gorgeous and lastly i harvested some raspberries from my garden and yes, you're thinking, why have you got fruit at your entrance hallway? Well, this is the most used, I would say, part of the house. We're always in and out, walking backwards and forwards. A bowl of fruit, you can have a nibble, at least it's healthy, as you pass. So this is my altar. I'm actually going to leave this up because I really do like it. It doesn't look like an altar if I take that wand off you would just think that's um, pretty but you could actually work from it and each time you go past it you can give thanks in your head and nobody will ever know only you will know what it's meant to do so thanks for watching I hope this helped those of you that find it difficult to express your craft i think this is a fantastic idea 
my other altar, my permanent altar has got all the elements on and that also has the Lammas bowl and, and all the other things that come in the sub box. But this one is just perfect for every time you walk past it to just give thanks. You could even do spells as you walk past. So thanks for watching. I hope it helped. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.